The Smart School Meadows prioritizes long-term values. It is essential that this complex becomes an inspiring setting for the students' everyday life and education, while at the same time providing a platform for the pedagogical evolution in the future. That is, a structurally robust and adaptable building complex that incorporates smart school principles and specific architectural qualities which take into account the students' individual learning preferences. The concept focuses on spatial qualities that stimulate a flexible interplay between students' own initiatives, curiosity learning and play on one side, and activities that are organized by the teachers and provide a sense of security and care on the other side. The circular configuration is a unifying motif for the community, in which the attention is oriented towards and around the center as a special place of significance or gathering point. The circle sparks the imagination as it constitutes an open and inviting surface which is not limited by linear or rule-based movement, but incites play and exploration. The large roof ties the individual buildings together into a coherent educational complex at the same time, its riches and eaves and varying heights and sizes accentuate the different functions and units. The roof niches, activity zones, learning environments and flow areas make room for a variety of activities in the transition between building and landscape. Architectural means and qualities affect our senses to such a degree that they have a great impact on our behavior. Learning styles often have physical counterparts, which can be translated into room types. The light of a table lamp in the dark may be preferred by one person, while others need large amount of natural light. Some are comfortable with background noise and activity around them, and others prefer complete silence. Some like small spaces, and others create their own zone in large open spaces. That is why the best learning environments are found in specific and specialized, but at the same time diverse surroundings, in which you are able to find space and room for your individual preference. The meadow is a diverse learning and activity environment that creates a gradual transition between indoor and outdoor spaces, so that the school's activities not only take place in delimited areas, but in a constant interplay between functions and areas in and around the school complex. The meadow presents the students with varying means for self-expression and motivates them to explore, play, create and meet depending on school activities and according to their individual temper, mood and curiosity. The very active and social spaces of the central campus are contrasted by a more calm and contemplative landscape of natural and agricultural areas outside of the ring. Brain research over the past 15 years point out that we as different individuals need different learning environments which take into account individual learning situations and needs. While previous notion considered the student to be the one who had to adapt to the teaching method, we know today that the teaching has much greater effect when it's adapted to the student. So how can architecture contribute to teaching? The organization and architecture of the Smart School Meadows are to be understood on two basis tracks. The first track responds to the functional relation and supports interplay between lesson-based and project-based teaching, which meets different intelligence respectively. The second track is about the building's use of different architectural means and spatial qualities which stimulate our behavior and support different learning styles. Different combinations of the auditory, visual and kinesthetic intelligences make up the often mentioned seven intelligences. It is therefore essential that the buildings themselves support lesson plans and project-based work which can accommodate the varying intelligence profile in the best possible way. In this concept, the organization and layout of educational buildings is primarily concerned with internal relations, continuous courses and flows and contextual consciousness about how we acquire and apply new knowledge. Based on the program and the smart school principles outlined in the brief, we have developed a both unifying and expanding concept that bridges between school complex, nature and modern society in the form of a diverse, including and activating learning environment. The complex is organized as a permeable ring of buildings which contain the main functions and are grouped around a central outdoor space, the meadow. By turning a string of individual buildings into a ring, the emerging central area becomes an interconnected space of cross-functional relations. At the same time, the gaps between the buildings along the ring make the meadow 
both visually and physically accessible from the outside and allow for activities to diffuse between the meadow and the surrounding landscape. Each building and function expands toward the center in the form of a directly related outdoor area. And together these areas form a diverse arena for experiential learning and pedagogical synergies, an active central campus. The proximity between different functions establish natural gathering points for social interaction and cross-disciplinary projects. The functions are interrelated like stars in a galaxy, where the activities gravitate towards one another. A responsive space is based on the idea of a non-paradigmatic approach that has an inherent adaptability to changes in society. What we learn and how we learn. In this sense, our team is not merely trying to solve a program, but we are proposing a solution that doesn't subscribe to a singular learning paradigm, but to the activity of learning itself. The responsiveness is at the very core of how we perceive the everyday functionality at the school. This means that the learning spaces will not be fitted specifically to the classic subjects such as math, biology or music, but to the activities related to them. The classic division of subjects into disciplines divides rather than joins our perception of how things work in reality. In order to make the different disciplines capable of correlations and interchange, we propose to expand the classical use and incorporate an activity-based functionality. This means that the school's different spaces hold different spatial qualities, which suit certain activities and subjects but are not limited to one singular use. Instead, the responsive spaces support experiential learning so that the students and teachers can seek out and switch between a multitude of different settings and qualities according to the project, working method and subject at hand. The eaves of the roof cantilever over the complex immediate surroundings like the protective brim of a hat, which carries a series of highly positive properties with regards to functionality, design and technical aspects. Firstly, the roofed areas have obvious qualities in terms of providing shelter from snow, rain, sun and wind, so that the outdoor activities can take place almost all year round regardless of the weather taking into account that the rainy season starts at the same time when the temperature becomes mild and allows more outdoor activities. Secondly, the eaves also result in an operational advantage by protecting the building facades from the elements so that they last longer and require less maintenance. Thirdly, they prevent problems like interior overheating during summer while at the same time reducing the need of blinds and sunshades which obstruct views to the outside landscape. Special emphasis is put on the spaces in between the buildings along the ring. They are programmed for a double purpose in order to utilize the potential of both access points and links between different functions. These roofed common spaces combine the elements of intimacy and contextualization that tie the wider complex of school buildings, the central campus and the surrounding landscape together. Architectural competitions contain both positive and negative aspects. They bring out the best of our skills and our experiential repertoire and they bring out the worst, the possible misinterpretation of the written word. The most efficient way to relieve the latter is dialogue. Up until now, the continuous dialogue has changed our interpretation on some specific matters in a good way. Our proposal is an invitation for collaboration. We are intrigued by the ambitious goal of reinventing the concept of educational space in the form of a school park that actively interacts with the surrounding society in the context of a modern world. The Smart School Meadows is a smart choice.